Hey everyone, um, I hope you can see this. I'm trying to do it on my laptop. So these are my nails, completely bare, nothing on them. And these are the nails that I've just done. With me, I have my Jamboree wraps, as you can see, I've already used half of them. I have um, the heater. You don't need a heater um, if you don't have one at home. You can purchase these on the website, but it's easy enough just to use an electric um, heater, like the ones that have like the bars. Um, the glow light, those halogen ones, they're really good to heat it up or just use a hairdryer. I also have um, the little stick which you can use just to press things around and push back your cuticles. I have tweezers which I find really handy to use when pick up these and heating them up. Um, the buffing pad which is the jamboree buffing pad. Um, jamboree nail file but again use any nail file you want. And I have cuticle oil stick as well again from Jamboree, but you can go and purchase your own, don't worry. Okay, so let me show you first how you do it. I use my tweezer to take this off. Now there is a lot of excess here, so what you can do is um, to trim it. But I, of course, haven't brought my scissors with me, so we're just going to use this one. Don't worry about it. Um, we're going to heat it up. Okay. So I don't know if you maybe see, but you will start to see it's starting to curl. To me, that's when it's starting to heat up. So just to make sure that you're getting everywhere heated. And then just set it on top of your nail. It's a bit fiddly when it's longer, but if you make it shorter, it's so much easier. Pop it on top of your nail. And then I use the stick just to make sure that I'm sealing in the hole around the edge. So it's all sealed down. Now get your nail file. They say to cut off this excess, but of course, because I don't have my scissors, um, I can't do that. But cut off the excess and file in a downward motion around the side of your nail I feel so under pressure doing this and everybody's watching you'll start to see it's starting to come apart just keep going it's sort of like in a downward motion it's all explained on the back of the pack anyway the application process and I will also put up that your excess bit um, the professionals doing it. This is me doing it at home, tidying up around the edges to make sure that they're all applied properly. I then put it on the heat again. Um, I actually find this, the tiny little device that it is, is quite hot compared to what I've been using before. And then again, just go around, make sure that you're sealing in all those edges because if you have any gaps like where it's lifting, that's why your pot, your um, wrap isn't going to stay on. Any water or something will catch underneath it and it will lift. So I'm just going around the edges, making sure we're all sealed in. And oh, let me just fix, tidy up this a bit here. Make sure it's down on. And voila. First one applied. Easy as that. I'm going to take you through the rest just to do again. And I'll try and go really fast. Make sure as well when you're doing it, line them up just to make sure they're actually going to fit. Um, I know that some people have very small nail beds or some people have a lot larger nail beds.
That's it. So those are my fingers. I'm just going to move on to my thumb. So as you can also see, really quick and easy to do. Uh, that one there, I have messed up a bit in the wrong ones for my thumb. Um, I think I actually put somehow put my thumb onto this finger, and that's why it was so much bigger. So I'm going to go for this one here, which is maybe a little bit wide, but and I went and got the closest scissors I could find. Not really ideal. Yeah, I got the kitchen scissors, but hey, you gotta make do. Double check that. Yeah, that should. So the way I would do it is just trim. Not with scissors as big, but just the excess bit at the side off. Just to sort of try and measure it up to your nail. However, um, I have got a link which I will pop up that shows you how to do this a lot easier by using scotch tape and getting the actual size of your nails first. Um, I need to quite invest in some scotch tape because I'm telling you, it's so much easier. Um, if you're off like me, you will cut off too much on the side or I don't have a straight eye in my head. I cannot cut a straight line. I cannot cut a, or draw a straight line. So it just, is part of the spot. Go for these just again. Oh. Got a jittery hand. If you're quick enough, you can, you know, move it around. Pop it on. And seal it down again. If you find that there's any bits that maybe haven't um, been sticky enough, I just peel them back and put a bit more heat back on them again. Put them back up and reapply. Obviously you want to make sure your hands are clean and don't get um, fluff and dust and stuff underneath because it won't stick. That one I cut very short but saves me. Oh, this is tight. I literally have just got the right size anymore. So just making sure on this one that I have it sealed down properly, that there's not going to be any lifts on it. Shape my nail as way I want it. And that's us. Done. Easy as that. Now if you look really closely there, you can see a slight line where it hasn't completely met. You really can't do this at all when you have your nails done. Nobody's going to be looking that closely. Um, what I would do now is put some cuticle oil around. Very noisy. Um, around your fingers. This brush from Jamberry is great because you have to stick a wee bit on. Got some on the um, It has a bit of an almond smell to it. Uh, just go around the side of your nails. I wouldn't do this beforehand because um, now I pre-wipe my nails with the wipe you get, but if you do this and don't pre-wipe, there's going to be too much oil on your nails and it's not going to stick. Um, I also like putting on a little bit of hand cream now at this point because I have old lady hands, they're too dry. Um, so you can let it sit or just rub it in, it's not going to have any effect on the wraps because you'll seal them in properly. And there we go. Really as easy as that. The more you do it, the quicker you're going to be. I still am a bit slow doing my own nails, so much quicker doing everybody else's. Um, but I hope you enjoy. Any questions, please just ask me. Okay, bye.